welcome back to the next live show. We're here with one of my uh, friends and colleagues, Eric Schmidt. Uh, Eric is a uh, technical program manager for Google Cloud. Thanks for joining us, Eric. Thanks, Rachel. So uh, we're here at the NCAA Experience. Eric, what is this? Uh, physically, it's a basketball court inside of the Moscone Center. Yes. Uh, because why not, right? <laughs> Google Cloud became the official cloud provider for the NCAA. Uh -huh, so nice. out on the court right now, we're recording attendees live at 180 frames a second, wow. performing analysis on their shooting mechanics. So as an <laughs> attendee walks off the court, they get an email that goes to an IPython notebook. They can open it up and look at all their shooting mechanics. I, I can't think of a better way to make uh, sports ball more entertaining for nerds than to give them analytics data for there everything they've been doing. It's, That's right. it's kind of amazing. So. Uh, I'm looking at, at a giant leaderboard scoreboard over here. I assume this ties into some of the data and analytics. Uh, yeah. What is it we're looking at here? So what we did to make this fun and gamey is we built a game for the shooting session. A sh an attendee has 60 seconds to put as many shots up as possible. Uh -huh. For every shot, um, and we're tracking this in real time, we give them a uh, a score that they, they could potentially get if they make the shot. And the score is a function of distance, how far they move from their last shot, as well as the probability. This is kind of like their, their score juice, if you will. Right. So if you're making lots of shots, your probability is going to go up. If you're missing shots, etc. And this is based on a training set from a couple thousand shots. This all runs locally. Uh, we use uh, TensorFlow serving to do all this analysis locally here on the court. Right. But then we're pushing all the data up into the cloud through Cloud Spanner as well as BigQuery so that we can retrain. Mm -hmm. We're also using Firebase to drive this scoreboard in real time. So uh, tell me, uh, what's the relationship then that we have with the NCAA? The NCAA is kind of like a typical enterprise. They have mm -hmm. lots of data, lots of customers. Yeah. All those schools are collecting data. And it's just not about basketball. You're talking about softball, soccer, et cetera. So they have lots of data all over the place. We're helping them build to build data analytic workflows on Google Cloud, uh, leveraging things like BigQuery. That's awesome. This is live, this is live television. Um, helping them build these analytic workflows so they can make decisions like potentially moving the three-point line back or changing how the ranking system works for, for competitions. Um, or looking at you know impacts of travel schedules on on student athletes. Yeah, that's fantastic. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm always looking for tips on my shot. Do you, do you mind if I maybe give this a go and see if I can learn some tips? You bet. All right. Let's, let's try it out. Let's do it. Right. Hold your left hand out for me. I crown you king of basketball. Fantastic. Come on, Rado. Yeah! Come on, Rado! Yeah! Yeah! You took a lot of hard shots, so I gotta hand that to you. Your last shot was uh, launch angle, 44 degrees, which is good. So, you know, for, the, for that location, release height, you're getting some good release. Rotation, 100 RPMs, that's good. So overall, really good shooting session. I bet you if you come back and shoot again, you'll be at least, say, 40, 42%. Oh, of course, yeah, <laughs> double it at least. Thanks, Thanks for your time, Eric. Cheers. All right, uh, that's it for us here at the NCAA Experience. If you're at Next 18, head on over to Moscone South so that you can improve your score. I'm sure you're gonna do a better job than me.